Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Jordan Talks, and welcome back to another video. Um, today, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about one of my least favorite teachers. Well, she's not necessarily my teacher, but she fucking comes into my seventh period class all the time. She just, like, rushes in, and she's like, Guys, you better be doing your work, or else you're getting a friend at attention. Like, it's legit annoying. Her name's Miss Lindgren, and, uh, we'll talk about that. Um... Miss Lundgren is honestly, like, the worst teacher at the school, probably. I mean, last year, it was between her and Mr. Morgan. For you, those who don't know who Mr. Morgan was, he was, like, the shittiest teacher of all time. He kind of just let you, like, fucking do whatever you wanted. And he'd tell you to shut up all the time, but then actually never do anything about it when you actually said something. Like, he'd say, be quiet, or you shut your mouth. He was not a very intelligent person. Uh, neither was Miss Lindgren, because she constantly, um, tells you to be quiet, or else you're getting a Friday detention. Like, I was one time, she told me to take off a sweatshirt, and, and I didn't, and so she almost, she gave me a lunch cleanup for it. I almost said almost gave me one. She gave me a lunch cleanup for it, because I was wearing, I wasn't taking off a sweatshirt. I don't understand why that fucking applies. Alright, so... Where she came from was she came as like she became a sub last year when um she subbed for a teacher in my math who was like she was the substitute right before Mr. Morgan. Um actually no, I think there was a different sub. I think it was Miss uh Clark's mom. Miss Clark. Miss Clark's mom, Miss Clark. Uh they were they're Miss Clark's mom is nice. Miss Clark is pretty nice whatsoever. I honestly don't really care. I think, honestly, that Miss Clark was much better than, like, most of my other teachers. I mean, I have decent teachers now. I'm so glad. I had, like, Miss Fig. She looked like a fucking fig tree, honestly. Uh, she was a prune. But, yeah. I'm not really sure. Let's just say this. She was a... The best teacher. She was kind of a annoyance to me. I didn't really enjoy being with her. But Miss Lindgren was the worst. She physically, like, no one is worse than her. She freaking, like, hated us. She hates kids, probably. She's only doing this for the money. Which I can understand if that's your job. But, like, you have to have a little bit, like, respect for kids. She doesn't. Like, I'm 12, and I'm in 7th grade, and I'm just a kid, but come on. I, at least everybody knows, besides child molesters and fucking parents who are sexists, and I don't even know. They wouldn't understand. But, you just, you just have to have respect for kids. Come on. Physically, like... Physically. I don't even know where I'm going today. I'm sorry. I'm tired as shit. Um. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh. So, Miss Lindgren was a substitute teacher. She was like, uh. She looked like an alcoholic on the first few days. She was. I, I didn't really know what to think of her in the few, for, for the first few days I had her. But then as time went on, she just became such, like, more of a pain in the ass. Like, she physically told you to shut up all the time. I've told you that. She basically just... No. She was bad. Really, really bad. I honestly disliked her. I think a lot of people didn't like her. The kids who do like her, just... I, I don't have much to say. Mercy on your soul. Stop liking Miss Lindgren. She is... <laughs> Anyway, so carrying on, yeah, she was bad the sixth grade year, um, she kind of ruined math class, but then once she left, it was all good until Mr. Morgan came. Um, let's see, then this year, alright, so I was put in Ames, and so, Ames is like a academic success type thing, it's supposed to help you with, um, it's supposed to help you with math, and do all that crap, but honestly, it's useless whatsoever. I don't understand 
why people think it's actually helpful. Like the school district just wanted an extra class to get the put the uh, academically challenged kids in it, which they don't. They just basically put you in a class. Like if the the um <sighs> sorry, I was about to burp. If the uh um <sighs> fucking I can't speak for shit today. Um. If they were to, like, put you in a drama class or, uh, rotation, I guess, and you weren't, or, pff, fucking, elective, there we go, I got it, first try. Um, if they were to put you into an elective class and it was full, they basically just put you in one of these classes, and apparently tech class is full, and that was my second elective, and they didn't want, they didn't put me in a third one, now my backup choices, which I put, like, three other backup choices, they put me in drama, which is, like, a sexist teacher, Miss Carr, uh, I really hate that teacher. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, she was my um, teacher. Well, he, Mr. Van Warmadan, was my Ames teacher. But Miss Lundgren was coming in all the time and fucking ruining our class for us. And she just kept coming in. And our class got so fed up with it. We actually signed like a contract saying to get her the fuck out of our class. And uh, that didn't work because. They banned her from the class, right? And then she comes in, like, the next month or so. Like, even though the office said she's not allowed to come in, she comes in anyways. And it's it's so it's so weird, because I remember listening to the dudes saying, you're not supposed to be in this class, you need to get out, you know the rules. Miss Lindgren said, okay, the next fucking month she just comes in and starts harassing our class. Like, not really harassing, but you know what I'm saying. I don't want to be like Tana Mongu who says all this shit. Like, I want to actually, like, she was actually just harassing us. Like, honestly, we were asking questions and shit, and she just tells you to shut up. I don't really have any good a examples. I can't think of anything interesting that she did, because, well, she didn't really do anything, but she, like, basically, yeah, you talk you get fucking lunch cleanup for that shit. Oh, uh, I feel bad for my friend Pablo. Because, like, today he was just doing as I ready. He turns around and Miss Lindgren fucking, like, yelled at him. He's like, she's like, no, Pablo, turn around, get back to work, or else you're getting a lunch detention. At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'd have to ask Pablo. Because, yeah. It, I don't, I don't get it why she's such, like, super salty. She shouldn't be hella salty. Honestly, like, she should just calm down and get her shit straight. Because the thing about Miss Lindgren is, like, she she doesn't have any respect for really anybody. Like, even my 7th grade, like, math teacher, which is her, his, uh, blah, blah, blah. her, not his, her husband. Her, yeah, obviously. And, uh, she, our tall teacher married a fucking fat tub of lard named Miss Lindgren. And, um, uh, they, are uh, are adopting a child because one of them is not, uh, fucking ready to have a relationship that goes beyond, uh, just dinners out and shit. They, uh, or just Mr. Van is needing Viagra. I eat all the Viagra. Anyways, um, so she came in these the last couple of days, and she's just been harassing our class. Like, she keeps moving our desks around, like, making us sit everywhere new, and, like, the, each day. It's like my mom hiding my phone, kind of. She, she simply, she simply, like, she gives me my phone, and then she hides it. <laughs> I don't know why. She takes my phone, and then she gives it back. But then she hides it again. It happens every night. Also, they fucking set restrictions on my computer so I can't go on at past 9.45 without the internet being total fucking garbage. And it really... it It's like... Yeah, I found the file to, um, to enable it. I just can't get on the computer because they're usually on it when they turn it on. They turn it off when they, um, leave it open. Like, yesterday I found the file to it. I'm just waiting for an opportunity to actually, um, you know, um, dis, 
able that shit. Like, honestly. That's not even important. But I need to get that 10 minute mark. Which I think I just got. <sighs> Let's see. What else does Miss Linger know? Oh, she doesn't dress code you. But she dress coded me, I guess. For wearing a fucking sweatshirt that had a Volcom logo on it. She thought it was uh, some sort of fucking racist group or something. I'm not really sure. Also, for the ones who were wondering when this happened, this happened at lunch one time. I probably never really told anybody, but I was in the office because I was hurt. And, uh, she fucking, like, came out of nowhere. And she's like, hey, you better shut your fucking mouth or else you're getting a lunch detention. Also, that, that, uh, that jacket is very inappropriate, so you need to take it off. I'm like, how is it inappropriate? She's like, uh, don't argue with me. Just ask the people who made the dress code, right? And so, I asked them, and they said, that's not inappropriate. And then Miss Lindgren just said, like, basically gave me one anyway for fucking not doing shit. Uh, I'll say this. Miss Lindgren is so disrespectful. She's a disrespectful teacher. Like, yeah. I don't understand why she treats us, so, like, horribly. But she does. Like, she's a science teacher, but she thinks math is her best subject when she doesn't really know how to fucking do PEMDAS, which is the easiest shit in the world. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, peanuts ate. I mean, peanuts eat. Um, my dick anus shit you guys see what i did there i'm clever right i can make jokes too i'm not no funny kids you think you guys are funny well yeah popular kids uh i'll just do that in the next video or something i don't fucking know all right that's my story for y'alls today um Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. If the video was not that good, still leave a like because I'm a like whore. <laughs> I need all those likes to raise my reputation so my friends will think I'm cool. And, uh, yeah. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.